Hey guys, so I wanted to check out the uh, Android Nugget uh, Beta here for the OnePlus 3. Some people are saying you should check it out because uh, it is uh, coming now for the OnePlus 3, uh, the Nugget update official from uh, OnePlus. So we're going to have a look at it here in this video. You can see we are running uh, Android uh, 7.0 December patch level, so it's all nice and up to date here. Uh, and we just uh, have a look as well at some of the stuff that you do get with the actual update. So first things first, you can see uh, we are getting a drop down menu here, which is very nice and similar to what you're going to get with other uh, Nugget devices. Uh, you do also get uh, the multitasking here. So you can see uh, if you want to drag one thing here and one thing on to here. You can see that, we do get that now. Uh, we also get uh, basically uh, the icons from the latest OnePlus 3T, which is obviously the successor here. Uh, so you can see we're getting the same kind of uh, bubble-like icons. And I've got a little bit of customization on the OnePlus 3T, but I'm guessing you can also do customization here. Uh, similar to what you get on the OnePlus 3T uh, maybe. Uh, it looks like uh, you can see we can, the icon that I had before with the square icons was called Riff, Riff On. Uh, so you can do that if you want. I'm just going to keep it on default for now uh, to uh, check it out here. And uh, you can see I think not really much has changed when it comes to the camera. Uh, if we just have a look at this one when we come out of the split screen, uh, if we just go into this, you can see it's quite similar to how it was before, really. You know, uh, there are some manual controls here and there, uh, really. You know, it's uh, got some nice uh, added features, but uh, it's not a massive departure, if you ask me. Uh, I think OnePlus's aim was to keep it very close to how it was before, which did work, you know, I'm not complaining or anything, uh, but I do like it when manufacturers make a bit of an effort to make something a bit different. Uh, so uh, you can also see in uh, this area here, uh, I think it's gone uh, through a little bit of changes, making it a bit more up to date and look like what you get with the latest OnePlus 3T. Uh, so that uh, is quite nice. You also get this uh, user feedback area, uh, which you know you can get some support direct from OnePlus. Uh, so I think OnePlus has really improved their support nowadays uh, when it comes to Android, and they should be commended uh, for that uh, particular thing. So that uh, is quite nice. We're going to have a look in the settings as well. Uh, so in the settings you can see, uh, I think the icons are a little bit different now, a little bit more uh, bluish compared to how they were before. Uh, in the display settings uh, we do get uh, quite similar as before, like ambient display. I can't see any way to change the resolution like with the uh, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, that would be pretty nice to get you know, maximum battery life. Uh, I know as well some other manufacturers have been doing that as well, like on uh, the P9 you can also change the resolution there. Uh, you can see uh, we get uh, customization of the status bar and uh, you know all sorts of good stuff in here. I've got the developer options as well, so uh, you know I think uh, you will need to allow uh, OEM unlocking if you want to flash this on your device or you could wait for it to come on officially. It looks like I've got a system uh, update as well, so you know uh, I will update it uh, eventually. Uh, but it looks pretty nice overall. I think uh, one of the major changes as well is that you can change the uh, file system so that it runs as fast nearly as the uh, the uh, 3T. I'm not 100% sure if it comes on uh, by default. It does feel quite fast actually just using it here. Maybe there is a setting you have to put it on though, somewhere in the developer options or something, but I'll look into that. I think it's the the new uh, file system obviously, which makes the OnePlus 3T so fast. So that's a nice addition. Uh, overall then, very nice update here. Uh, you know, I think uh, if you can check it out, 
uh, is definitely worthwhile because OnePlus makes it quite easy to flash on, uh, you know, custom ROMs, etc., on their phones, which uh, should be commended. Really, uh, you know, not many manufacturers are doing that. Uh, so yeah, just a quick little video here. Hope you uh, found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.